can someone with obsessive compulsive disorder be sure of his or her eternal destiny? Hi, I'm Bob Wilkin with Grace Evangelical Society, and I have some good news for you today. I received a number of emails from someone named C.D. who says he has obsessive compulsive disorder, which he calls the doubt disease. I've received emails and phone calls from many people with OCD over the last 35 years, and I find that doubts about eternal destiny are a common complaint among OCD people. Of course, this is a problem for all kinds of people, not just OCD, but in many ways it's harder for OCD people. Well, I received four different emails from CD, but I'm going to reduce it to two, the two most important ones. In the first one, he says he believes that Jesus is God, he believes that hell exists, and he believes the only way to avoid hell is by trusting in the Lord Jesus Christ. But then he says, I'm afraid I haven't trusted Jesus Christ. Well, my first response would be, don't think about trusting, think about believing. John 3.16 doesn't say anything about trusting. Jesus said, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whoever believes in Him will not perish but has everlasting life. It's simply a matter of taking Him at His word and believing in Him. Just like C.D. believes that Jesus is the Son of God and that hell exists, so too he can easily believe that Jesus guarantees everlasting life and never perishing to all who simply believe in him. He goes on to say, I don't want to put faith in faith. I just want to finally rest knowing I'm saved. Well, that's, that's backwards, C.D., because the only way to rest, knowing for sure that I'm saved, is to put faith in the Lord Jesus Christ that those who believe in Him have everlasting life. Now, that's not faith in me. That's faith in Jesus. But it is faith in faith in the sense that Jesus is guaranteeing that the one who believes in Him will never perish, but has everlasting life. That's why this is often called believism. Often it's called justification by faith alone. It's not worksism. It's not justification by works alone. It's not justification by faith plus works. It's by faith alone. Well, in the second email that I've pulled up from CD, he goes on to say, I still don't understand what it means to trust in Jesus or to believe in Him for everlasting life. And he cites John 11, 25 to 27. And he thinks there that there are additional conditions. He thinks instead of simply trusting or believing in Jesus, now we also get a condition of believing that He will raise me from the dead and believing that I have life that can never be lost. So he sees these as three separate conditions. He's misunderstood the passage. In John 11:25 to 27, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Two things, the resurrection and the life. As the resurrection, he promises, he who believes in me, though he may die physically, yet he shall live physically. This is the promise that the believer will be resurrected with a glorified body and live with Jesus forever. It's a promise of the security of the believer. Then as the life, he says, he who lives and believes in me shall never die. This, too, is a statement of eternal security. Any living human being, CD included, who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ is never going to die spiritually. Then he asked Martha, do you believe this? And her answer is, yes, Lord, I believe you are the Christ, the Son of God who is to come into the world. 
she's not stating a second or a third condition. She's simply saying that because she knows Jesus is the Messiah, the Christ, the Son of God, she knows that what he just said is true, that all who believe in him have everlasting life. They're never going to perish. They're going to be with him forever in his kingdom in a resurrected, glorified body. So the good news is, if you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have everlasting life, and you're never going to perish. It's really that simple. In Matthew 7, verses 7 to 11, Jesus said, Ask, seek, knock. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. So CD, and all of you out there who lack assurance, seek God. Ask Him to give you assurance of your eternal destiny. I suggest you link that in with reading the Gospel of John, a chapter a day, and prayerfully ask God, show me, is it really as simple as just believing in the Lord Jesus Christ? It's also helpful to find a solid Bible teaching church where you can ask questions and you can talk with people. But the point is, God wants you to be sure. It is the promise of John 3.16, of John 11.25 to 27, of Ephesians 2.8 and 9, of Acts 16.31, of all of the hundred plus faith alone verses in the Bible. If you liked what you heard today, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And remember, keep grace in focus.